Hello, 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 everyone. This is Parsley here. Woo! All right, uh, I'm an astroneer today. One of my favorite space game. Favorite, favorite. Pretty much uh, any game that is related to space is my favorite. I love space. So, as you can see, I've gotten a little bit of a head start here. I got my blue suit on, of course. And uh, let's take a look at the current state of things. So in Astroneer, uh, you build a series of printers that allow you to make bigger parts, including larger printers, until you incrementally go from small to medium to large printer. I don't really have much use for this big one yet, because uh, I already have a shelter. So that can stay there for now. The other thing is this big smelter. So let's let's start by taking a look at these quests right now. All right. Well, hey. So, uh, new quests appear here, or new missions appear here, and then you get a reward if you complete it. So, I just fully charged the battery, so it looks like I'm getting a splitter and power extenders. Nice. A useful addition to any laboratory. Or at least the, uh, the blueprints to make those. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see what else we're working on here. Eyes on lithium. Crafting batteries will require lithium. planet are we on? Get to our... Let's whip out the old mission log here. Oh, no, that's the... This is the blueprint catalog for what, everything that you can make in your backpack. Small printer, medium printer, large printer. Here's our mission log. This just shows the missions. Where do I see the old... Looking around here. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, research catalog. Or no, no. Nope. Nope. Compass? No. Uh, well, we'll, uh, we'll find it as we go. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, the Astropedia. That's kind of what I want. Let's see. I think we're here right now. I think we're here. So, uh, Elador. Yeah, so lots of different planets. We'll see. Arm stuff. Turn auto arm. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. One of the robotic arms to automate tasks. Tractor. Boost mod. Well, hey, I think I can do the. Let's take a look. The boost mod is uh, item an item that's produced within a backpack. So we scroll through here to go through those things. Boost mod here. All right, what's required? We need zinc. And funnily enough, we've mined the required, or I've mined the stuff already to make that. So let's make a boost mod. So this attaches to the, not uh, you, yes you, alright, this attaches to the side of the mining tool. <laughs> yeah, alright, so that'll increase the amount of, uh, yeah, yeah it's putting in the work already. I'll get the, a little bit more resin out of here. I need some more compound too, because as you can see on my backpack here, the energy and the oxygen drains over time. As expected, that happens, but uh, in order to connect yourself back to the ship where the electricity is being produced, electricity and oxygen, you use these tethers to extend your reach, right? So you place these down on the ground using T, and go about your day that way. But you need uh, another material called compound in order to do this. Okay. Yeah. So what's cool about this game is you kind of just uh, explore around looking for your primary objective or primary material that you need, like, uh, and then you sort of 
find other stuff as you're looking, right? So, <laughs> I was in this tunnel looking for compound, a uh, slightly more common resource, but I found all this interesting stuff as well. And compound too, so, win-win. Oh, no power, okay. No power means we gotta reconnect. I'm gonna use one of these compounds to make more tethers so that I can extend my reach down into that cave. Yay. Alright. Uh, and on the shelter here, this is what's producing the power. It's kind of like a radioactive uh, reactor. <laughs> and then here's the oxygen. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Start out by... Tethers are made in the backpack, so let's scroll through. Give me a tether. Tether. Nice. Yep, I usually stick them right up there too. Okay, now quartz. Can that be? Yes, looks like it can be smelted into glass. Fine. Yeah. What is it up here? Now, what's cool is when you're using this large platform here, when one of these is done uh, being refined down, it automatically uh, places it onto the medium storage. So that's cool. Cool. That's less cool. Let's turn on the generator. See, uh, you need to be careful. The reactor on the shelter only produces so much power. So eventually, you have to expand your power capabilities to meet these more industrial machines. And one of the ways is doing that, especially to start off with, is these uh, these small generators. And you. Uh, in the spirit of, uh, or what, never mind. <laughs> you burn this organic material in a small generator to produce more power. And just like I said with the automatic uh, transfer on the smelter, if I put these on the medium storage on the same spot as the small generator here, it'll automatically eat the new one. Let's watch. Yep, there we go. Do some power. We are. Nice. We have a bunch of aluminum over here from some minerals refined I collected earlier, so we'll move these over to this platform to free up more space for the glass to sit. And now that we have more tethers, we can go out back to the mine to collect some more resources. And zinc. Some zinc, too. Zinc is all very useful for the creation of batteries. I think I'll make one right now, actually. Small battery. What's funny is you can keep this in your backpack inventory to expand your power. But uh, for right now, I think I'm going to make sure to just attach it to the base here. I'll set down this uh, resin too that I collected earlier. I want to be able to free up as much space as we can for. Uh, oh, what's. Oh, I did just hold in two pieces of aluminum on my name there. Don't want to misplace those, right? I want to switch locations. We keep it consistent here. Alright, place the compound there, let it chill. And, um. That there. <laughs> I haven't had a huge problem with stuff despawning, uh, but uh, if it becomes a problem, then I'll deal with it. There's also another ravine down here with some interesting stuff. Right, 
this time. Or tether enabled. So, okay. right. Look at all these materials. Right for the picking. Okay. Laterite. What's this one called? Alright, right, yeah, so we have a mix of mining uh, minerals that are, can be refined down into gold zinc and then aluminum. Both are very useful. Yeah. This is a little reminiscent of Minecraft. A little bit of grinding, strip mining the planet. Uh, still pretty fun. No! Alright, I think our inventory is full. <laughs> when your inventory is full, it just sort of spits out the stack of resources you collected, so you gotta be careful that it doesn't like <laughs> fall into the abyss. glass we produce from that quartz. Very nice. Love to see it. Alright. We'll get it restacked with our stirred up with laterite. And then call that bar. It's a phalerite. Oh, okay. Rip it right on my hand. Why don't you? No. <laughs> Got to remember to get the ones off of the mining gun too. All right, and now we shall return. And now you can see the kind of the struggle that develops here between the uh, power consumption and power storage because uh, when the smelter stops, it gives the generator an opportunity to fill the battery reserves. But when it's going, it quickly completes those. Right. So I could probably stand to make some additional improvements here for power production. I don't not sure if I have too much available right now, but let's take a look in our research log to see if we can unlock any technology that'll help with power production. We have a small solar and a wind turbine. So the solar produces one use per second, but we know it's gonna work in the daytime. The wind turbine produces 1.5. I'm not sure if it has any like varying production based on sun intensity or wind speed, but uh, looks like this might. Oh, they both require ceramic though, which um, I'm not quite sure what uh, how to make that yet. So we'll let it go for now. I could make another organic generator. But, uh, or just let it go at the speed that it's going to go, you know. I think having excess power uh, makes the machines operate at peak efficiency. And if not, then they just use what power is there and scale it proportionally based on how much power is available for the speed of the refinery. Let's get back down in here. Ooh. Careful with these slides. <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> Sweet. We're gonna look. Ooh, yeah. Don't get too close to these plants when you're strip mining. They do explode. La la la. Approaching the max. Alright, let's head back. What's cool too is you don't have to worry about the accumulation of uh, partially complete resource groups because it just like uh, stores the amount you have of each one. So it's like when I go back to collect quartz or cephalorite, whichever it's called, <laughs> then it, if you had a half stack of it mined already, then it remembers. Wow. 
glass, 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 glass. Alright, just trying to make things even, but no. Alright. I'm gonna use the resin over there to make a couple more of these uh medium storage things. Then I'll have to go and find some more organic material for our generator soon. Alright, anyway. Pick that back up. Pick that back up. Alright. I want... And also a medium platform. Well, that's going in my backpack. I can make another uh, small generator. I think uh, one of these is kind of going to be for expanded uh, refinement storage. So, kind of get it in line with the Set you up right here, then. Pull that cable. That's gonna cut the power for a little bit, but uh, we'll get her all plugged back in. No worries. I said no worries. Alright, there we go. Now let's, now let's make that uh, storage. There we go. Well, that's right, I'll go collect that plant material. <laughs> As you can see, I have a little farm going here. More on that later. Ta-da. Oh, it's an evil plant. Research items. I can scan them. Scan them for money. Oh, jeez. Yes. A lot of these, um... These will come in later. Uh, as you'll find out later in the game, and I'll find out too, uh, I think you make a research chamber where you convert uh, certain items into research points that allow you to then unlock, like, um, a little more stuff to build out of the printers, right? They help you unlock those blueprints. Sometimes you're glad you're venturing now in a certain direction because I see a lot of compound and resin over there. They're staples for making stuff in this game. Alright. Yeah. I'm definitely going to remember this area. Right now, our prime objective is for organic material. Now if you hit Alt, it kind of activates the leveling tool, which I find sometimes be easier for collecting all this plant material instead of also uprooting the ground along with it. Alright, I think that was our last one. Alright, we'll carry this one back. Do 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 do. increase our power production. Put you right there. Funny thing too, just like the batteries, you can stick that generator in your backpack to produce power for yourself if you're off doing your mining. Uh, I always forget the side compartments. <laughs> uh, yeah, just in time. Need this extra space. Zinc. I zinc so. Alright, aluminum. Put that there. Nice. 
Alright. We'll place down our unrefined minerals back down here. We're gonna need a special platform just for glass pretty soon. Now we have uh, zinc. Any more zinc? here for now. Yeah. Let's see if we managed to complete any of our quests while we were messing around. Oh, here we go, here we go, okay. Yeah, there's some fella right. Well, there we go, cool. And, um, strange item as a reward. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oof. Wonder wonder what this guy is. Alright, put it on a platform. Lock that in place so I don't lose it. Hold to use. Objects blocked. Very strange. Huh! Xenobiology lab wreckage. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Oh, there's more, too. A whole oxygenator. It looks like they might need that there. Outside. I... Oh, they came bearing materials. I'll take that to the ceramic. Time to immediately make a wind turbine out of the <laughs> of that ceramic. Lots of debris. Debris, debris can be ground down to create scrap that can be traded. Well, we'll get into that later. <laughs> uh, for right now, I think we can finish this one off with uh, making ourselves a little wind turbine. Small wind turbine. Don't mind if I do. Is that, uh, salt, uh, yeah, yeah, should be able to be created in the backpack, maybe I went over it too fast. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> nice. Oh, cool, it gets its little stand. I'll get this more organized when there's uh, enough resources. But yeah, that'll help, uh, deal with the power surplus. I think all of our materials are nice and refined here. So we're at a good point to stop. And uh, yeah, yeah, got a good start to the game, starting to accumulate some useful resources. Get back to my pod to save. Well, thank you all for watching. If you uh, want to see more, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.